All right, going for the blown out pink face. Kind of cool. Anyway, point was, I was just wanted to mention that <clears throat> in terms of <clears throat> bug on my arm, in terms of uh, jazz musicians, um, I was talking to a couple of them this morning, and it was kind of interesting. And they were talking about, oh, the longest jazz solo they'd ever played, nine minutes, and this and that. And, and they asked me, and I said, I don't look at it that way. <clears throat> to me, a solo has a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's got to say something. It has its place. So you fit it into a song appropriately. And uh, for me to run off and do a solo for six or nine minutes, to me, I, I think that's hijacking the song. <laughs> they kind of like, ooh, what? what's he saying? <laughs> and, and then uh, I also said in the conversation I think that I told him I, I really kind of re, I don't know if I regret it but one of the things about me is I'm a song I, I'm a song player I play songs and as a guitar player I've come to realize that I didn't express my ego as a guitar player I played for the song instead of trying to impress people with how great a guitar player I am and so as a result I didn't really express myself like a Hendrix would have been a song or something like that I just kind of still played for the song instead of playing for me and uh, so instead of my ego shall we say but i'm really happy with the parts i played as far as the song is concerned but of course i could have put all kinds of solos and other stuff in there and some sometimes i'm kind of like going, you know i wish that somebody would have been pushing me because i was just as far as i was concerned once i got the song done i was done a real producer would have tried to take it to the next level and make sure everybody's egos represented like in a lot of the mixes i don't represent myself well as a drummer and you know it, it's hard to make sure that everybody gets their fair share and fair time when one person's doing and all the work and kind of anyway so my perspective anyway it, it, I eventually I can get a good perspective but it's hard to just initially be able to see everything from my perspective anyway and so but getting back to the jazz thing I was thinking about they're basically just player pianos and uh, I've been trying to figure it you know when a bunch of player pianos get together and jam that's kind of like just player pianos on holiday and they're playing you know they're playing their heart out. They're they're doing their best and they're having fun. In fact, one one guy said, you know, a, a saxophone player, a session player, he did cruise ships and stuff. He was saying, you know, I play from the I got to play from the heart, you know, and move around. And and for a player piano, that's really cool, you know. And he's playing from the heart his player piano music, you know, all these riffs and things from other people's ideas and feelings and things that he's learned and copied, you know, not stuff he created, stuff he's copied, stuff he's learned that other people created so he's not a creator in any way so then he feels like he's creating when he can kind of throw out these little bits and pieces of different things that other people have done and and feel it and try to feel it you know and so that to him is a, is a huge sense of accomplishment but unfortunately maybe it's mean of me to say it but that sense of accomplishment is still a player piano accomplishment it's not an artistic accomplishment so that's the difference it's not in fact when he says he plays from the heart I think that's the other aspect of it it's a player piano heart not an artist heart hmm it's a yeah so player piano heart versus a artistic heart it's it's different than it always will be so that's why I just that's what jazz is it's a whole bunch of player pianos having fun together and that's really cool and then them player pianos can put out some good music but the important thing to remember is they are player pianos and not artists. <laughs>